Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, so I just posted a video about the top four decks for standard post nerf in Skullman's Academy, and I would like to show you how to mulligan and how to play for every single one of them. Uh, so the first one that I'm going to play is uh, are they use Bomb Warrior, which I think is a deck that can basically. Uh, beat anything on the ladder right now it is pretty flexible uh, so I'm going to guide you on how to play this deck and you should be able to climb uh, pretty quickly so please enjoy the video and the gameplay like and subscribe if you do and again you can find the deck code in my uh, discord Alright, so we are most likely against Control Priest. So against Control Priest, we uh, don't really need the uh, Shield Slam early, uh, but we do need our bombs to make the Highlander effects um, gone. So I'm gonna go to try to find the bombs here as early as possible. Blessings to you as well. So this is the win condition against this matchup. Uh, the bombs. Okay, we drew our first trench caliber, that's good. Yeah. They are just going to try to outvalue us. But we should be okay. This is just a 1-1. One -one. I'm not going to blade storm. I'm not really scared of it. This is next turn. There we go. So we just play this and we go face. Okay. Oh, that's okay. So this is actually unlucky because I wanted the Highlander effect to be gone as soon as possible because right now we can steal Zephyr and find the Ooze. Actually, it's not Highlander because he's playing two Draconic studies. So hopefully he doesn't have Ooze. Okay. Yeah, this one, one is not going to do anything to you, so you just don't care about it. Uh, I'm just going to buff my weapon and go face. Okay. We also need three bombs in a deck to be able to have a uh, Blast Master Boom with a full board uh, of those 1-1 one -one bombs. Okay, so this is the only time where this minion can be scary. Now I'm gonna trade it. That's fine. He trades, okay. So... I will for sure do this. I think I'm gonna draw here. Let's draw. This goes face no matter what. Okay. Nice. It's a it's a pretty good start for this deck. Yeah, we know he has two dragons in his hand right here. He's just gonna heal face most likely. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I like this actually. Yeah, I do like it. 
face. And uh, hero power. There's no reason for me to play the Sky Raider, so. Okay, so it sees at 15 and we have two bombs, so technically it's back to five. Uh, that's what you have to keep in mind. It's over the long game because this is going to be a long game just because it's priest. Uh, you should be able to eventually uh, get there. It's fine. Okay. Okay. See, this is this is here where you can use shield slam if you wanted to. Um, actually, this can potentially draw. I don't really want to draw it though. My second uh, wrench calibre. So what I'm gonna do here is do this. And this. For sure. Um, let's see what weapon we get. Okay, so we get this. I'm not gonna play it yet. I, this will be a 4-4. Four four. I can play it. It's okay. It's not the worst thing. Okay. Alright, so now I have three bombs in his deck, so I will be looking for a Blastmaster Boom. And I can play it right after the Risky Skipper. That should trigger all the bombs, and we should finally fall if he doesn't recover a lot of HP. It's fine. Okay, so we need to kill this just because it has lifesteal. Uh, I'm gonna play this one. I will play the shield slam just because I don't want any more life still. Let's draw some more. Okay, here's the car. And we're gonna put more bombs. Okay. Four bombs. So this is technically lethal, right? Four times seven is 20. So we just need to wait and make sure he stays below 20. And that's it, that's the game plan. Good stuff. Okay, it's fine. Upgrade. Uh, uh, I will take it for sure. Uh, I'm not gonna... I'm keeping the skipper for the boom as well. So I'm not gonna do anything here actually. I'm just going face. And armor. Okay. Nice. He's below 10. He has 4 more bombs in his deck. And he's going to get more. Okay, that's fine. Um, this will be actually a good turn for the Deathwing. Put one more bomb. Yeah, I think Deathwing is good here. It's okay. He probably has the Shadow Death uh, to destroy any 5 plus attack minions, but it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Uh Okay. So Oh this is a perfect top deck. Look at this. Look at this. There we go. There. 
and face. Putting more bombs. Okay, if he draws... He doesn't draw. But if he draws two, he's dead. He was dead there. So... But yeah, it gets any control deck where you know the game is going to be long. You just need to put a bunch of bombs in their decks and you just win that way. That's fine. Uh, again, more bombs. Here I'm going face because if he draws two, he's dead. I just need to pressure him. He's gonna eventually draw bombs because he has seven in his deck. <laughs> so, eventually... It's just a patience game. Yeah, the only thing he can do is heal and heal as much as he can, right? But that's it. And actually he's dead because now I skip her and boom. And there you go! That's how you play it against Priest. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I will be trying to upload videos every single day about any strategy game. I hope this uh, game shows you how to uh, destroy Priest if you don't like playing against them with this deck. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments or on the Discord. Again, you can find the deck code of this guy on this deck in my Discord. And I will see you guys next time.